Hello everyone. My name is Laura Diakiriola. I'm a physical therapist. Over the years, many people have come to me and um, I've treated them. They will complain of they have pile, they have this, they have that. After taking all concussion, <laughs> they've known <laughs> the pain on the back don't go and they have to come and meet us again. And um, after thorough proper examination, we discover that it's actually a problem on the spine, not the pile people think they do have. Taking all sorts of concussion, have a drink, it will help the pie, it will, it will help your back from being healed and all that. But um, over the years, most people, <laughs> the most common condition uh, people have been having is low back pain. It's one of the most common medical conditions. It's low back pain. Low back pain can be prevented with when you adopt a good posture, standing, sitting, sleeping. And another thing, especially that we don't do, it's lifting procedure. Let me show you how you can lift to avoid back pain. When you're lifting an object, like what I have right in front of me here, you maintain a wide base to keep you stable, your feet apart, like what I'm doing right now. You bend your knees and your hips, not to the waist, not like this. You bend the knees and the hips go down. And then, you, like I said, you maintain a wide base. So you bend your knees and your hips. You move the object close to your body and you lift. Adopt a good posture in sitting, standing, and um, sleeping, which will help you to prevent, uh, probably minimize the risk of having low back pain. Um, when you're sitting, like the way I'm sitting now, you keep your back erect against the chair, and then you avoid slouching, you know? Look at me, what I'm doing. Many people like doing like this, even though it could be relaxing, but it's not good for the back, because the muscles and the spine, they are, they are tensed, and this could lead to back pain over time. And the um, sleeping position again, um, um, sleeping on your back or side, side, or side sleeping is better because when you lie on your tummy, um, it's cause, it can cause neck sprain and low back pain. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Don't forget this is Health Access. This program is designed for Nigerians. This program is designed for you. Don't be afraid to express yourself. We brought on the hot seat. Healthcare providers, hospitals, HMOs, those who manage your funds, feel free to ask them questions. Let's know the money you pay to HMOs, where it goes to. The money HMO funds hospitals with, why would hospitals not give you care? Do not say, nothing will come out of it. It's one of those programs they design. No, this is for you. This is meant to make you access quality health care in hospitals. Thank you. Uh, bros, bros, bros. Even if you say we should not ask, we will ask. Because Okpolohai, no be Okpolohai, we will ask. Uh, who has questions here? Uh -huh. Bros, how many questions you get? But with this your book, how many is it there? Seven. Seven. Ow. You ask only one. Tell us your name and ask your question. Don't be afraid though. I'm here for you. Okay, my name is Andrew Magege and my question is um, what type of covers are available on NHIS and who is eligible for this cover? The National Health Insurance Scheme has a cover that will cover you, your wife, and four children below the age of 18. And all you need to pay is 10% of your salary will be paid by the government and you will pay 5% of the basic salary to assess that health. If you are working alone and you want to cover yourself, you can go to NHIS and pay 15,000 for a whole year, and you'll be covered. It's another plan. So you see that they have separated the civil servants from the privates. 
They have also introduced what is called T-ship for students in the University or College of Technology or School of Nursing or all these who are in the universities or polytechnics. They call it tertiary institution social health insurance program. And all they need to do is just pay 1,600 in a year to their school. So these are the different plans they have. The new ES is also introducing to cover about 24 million puppies, 12 years old in primary schools. So that all those in the primary schools will be covered. <laughs> Are you still with me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, who is my next people? Okay, bros. Sir, I want to ask this question, which I'm somehow confused. And I'm, it's very, very painful whenever I see Nigeria that they will be suffering from kidney problem and so on and so forth. They will be, they will be showing the TV that people should help them in raising money to operate them for the kidney problem and so on and so forth. So I want to ask, is there no provision for those people? Thank you, sir. Thank you for the question. As of now, we are preparing provision for them. In fact, uh, the new guidelines states that those who want to do dialysis, we have some courses they'll be allowed to do, which will be part of the program. But apart from that, the new ES, the Femitomos, is already thinking that a lump sum of money will be devoted to treat such uh, patients. So he's getting everything set, and I'm sure you will soon hear what number he wants to do. Yes, let's all work out. Let me stress for now, we as HMO believe that we should develop what is called wellness programs. I'm using the opportunity to invite you every Saturday, uh, second Saturday of the month, United Aid Care HMO has a free program at Unicorn Stadium. From 7 in the morning to 9 in the morning, we give you aerobic exercises. Then after that, we check your BP, check your urine, and everything that we know, we give you hypertension that can cause to that. So, if you are in Lagos, it is free. And if you are in Abuja National Stadium, we use it third Saturday of every month, and it is free. You will also get refreshment. We believe by doing preventive services, we shall not get to the stage where you will be having kidney problems. Uh, that's, that's, that's fabulous. And believe me, you almost tempted me to take you off the off seat. I won't be carried away. I'll still make you, I'll still subject you to accountability to Nigerians. I'm not taking you off the off seat. But we'll go on a short break now. We'll be right back. My name is Raf, Raf Chuku. Yes, I have heard about it. Uh, it's a health uh, insurance scheme by the federal government. Some coppers told me that um, they, they, they've received medical attentions and medical services under the health insurance scheme. Well, I think it's a very good uh, initiative by the government or whoever initiated the idea. You know, a lot of people don't have money, you know, to accept these medical services on their own. You know, I, I think it's a very good initiative. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. The show is Health Access. The guests are Dr. Kolawole Owoka. Thank you. Dr. Owoka is President, Health Managed Care Association of Nigeria. Also, I have on the show Dr. Adeyeye Arigbabuo. <laughs> Dr. Arigbabuo is Deputy National President, Healthcare Providers. Association of Nigeria. Thank you. All right. Dr. Owoka, yes. a lot of people feel HMOs have grown into a monster difficult to manage. And that is because there have been a lot of irregularities. And this has cut down a lot of Nigerians from accessing quality health care. 
Do you deny that there are such irregularities? Do you deny that you have grown into an unmanageable monster? Capital, no. Let me assure Nigerians of this. There are big HMOs doing their work. I can tell you as the CEO of United Healthcare, we are not owing anybody any penny. If any HMO is owing anybody any penny, the NHIS has the, the, the hammer to stop, to remove the license, to sanction the HMO, to collect the money, to even collect their license. So how can you become a monster? You cannot register by yourself. When I came into the program, the first thing I told you is that we are licensed to do, to practice health insurance, either as a public or as a private health insurance mechanism. We cannot get our license ourselves. We have to apply to our regulator, which is the National Health Insurance Scheme. You're telling me that as MD of United, United Healthcare, Care, you have not shortchanged anybody, any Nigerian. Yes. But that's for you. I know some big, we know ourselves. And any lapses you see is because NHIS did not do their job. It's like telling me that uh, a commercial bank has gone bigger than the central bank. Why? Why should it happen? It cannot happen. Thank you very much. We'll be going to the next segment of this program. I'll be handing us over again to Benga Adeyinka the second. The first. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good people. Uh, doctors, thank you very much. You've been fantastic. On behalf of Nigerian people, I say three bosa. Bosa, bosa, bosa. Now, this is that part of the program where you get something very, very, very. But you have to answer my question for you to win a prize. We've been talking HMOs all day. Abi? So, the question for the, today is this. And you have just 10 seconds. Mention three HMOs that you know. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five. You have to let me know. Uh, so you have to rise and tell me. Okay, rise. Yes. Dr. Benga de Inka. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I assume nobody knows it. That is your assignment at home. It's very important you know the HMO to register with. I'll give you three that I've written down. But I'm not saying this is where you must go, but these are three that I know. I know St. Ives. I know IGR. I know United Healthcare. Healthcare. You can find out as many as possible. So today, I keep my very, very, very. Bye-bye. That clap nourished them below. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, my audience. You agree with me that this topic is very crucial to Nigerians. This topic is the heart of the matter because these are the people that give you quality health care. They give you quality health care. They pay for your health care. That means... There are a lot of bony issues in the minds of Nigerians, and we can't wrap up this topic now. It will spill into next week. But this episode, we have to wrap up now. Until next week, I say bye for now. <laughs>